Kosa. I'm an SMWS member and today I'm going to show you how to make whiskey apple butter. And we're using back of the seasoning cupboard, cask 66.213, because of its smoky notes, a smoky sort of herbal notes that are going to come through really nicely with an apple butter, which if you don't know, is basically just um, an apple jam. You take apple sauce and then you just push it further and then you end up with something that's very nice and caramelized, but also goes really well with savory dishes, especially um, pork. And that's why the, uh, the jamon notes in this one made it especially suitable. So we've got apples, and I've just gone with 500 grams today because I'm making a small batch, so this should make about one large jar. Um, apple cider vinegar, water, sugar, lemon zest, fennel seeds, and the whiskey. Just slice it into halves, then threes, then half again. Basically making sure that they're small enough that they're going to be able to cook down in the liquid in the pot and not going to peel or pour them because the pectin in the apples is what's going to make it set. That and a little boost from the lemon zest, which is also going to add a nice oily lemony aspect. Apples are chopped. Apples in the saucepan. Get it onto a medium sort of heat with the water and the apple cider vinegar. At this stage, we're just cooking it down so that it will be able to be pureed through a sieve into this bowl. So this takes about 30 minutes or so. But basically you just keep checking back and seeing if it's soft enough that you think you can actually get it through a fine mesh sieve. When the apple is cooked enough that it is soft enough to be pushed through a sieve, leaving behind all of the apple waste, then you end up with an apple sauce. And that apple sauce goes back into the pot cleaned with about 250 grams of caster sugar zest of one lemon and a pinch of fennel seeds and we'll put it on medium heat to dissolve the sugar and once the sugar is dissolved then we'll get it up to a brisk little spluttering boil so that it becomes a nice creamy paste and that'll be for about 10 minutes then add in the whiskey and then cook for another five minutes and that should bring us to just about an apple butter consistency. So at this stage, we have a caramelly looking apple butter, which is going to firm up as it gets colder. And we just start spooning it into warm, sterilized jars. And then seal it up. So what you can use this one for is any sort of savory dish that has a pork element. So you can use it in a pork glaze. You can use it in a ham and cheese toasty. You can use it in a bacon sandwich and it goes down very well. Also on various cheese boards, especially with some interesting goat cheeses or some hard bitey cheddars. 